This is video number one for PowerPoint module number three in the Shelley Cashman book on Microsoft Office 365. We've already started up PowerPoint and we've selected a blank slideshow. And we're at the bottom of page 3-3. We want to apply the WISP theme. Themes are gonna be on the design tab up here. Click on the design tab. And unfortunately, they're not labeled uh, you do get the name popping up if you pause the mouse over it, but you got to do that one at a time. Uh, fortunately, I know that the WISP one is this one right here. It may not be in the same uh, position on your version of PowerPoint, but it should be there. So let's go ahead and select that. And this is what we should get. Now let's flip over to the top of page 3-4. We want to apply the title and content layout to this. Right now, the slide is just a plain old title slide. And if you want to find out what type of slide you've got, you can always go back to your Home tab here and click on the Layout button right here, and it will show you which one is currently selected. So this is a plain old title slide. It's got room for a title and subtitle, and that's it. We want to change this to a title and content slide, so click on this, and it changes the format. Now we're at the bottom of page 3-4. We want to select this top part right here where it says click to add title and when you get the solid line around it you know this alternates uh, if you click inside you'll get a dotted line if you click on the border you'll get a solid line when you've got a solid line hit the delete key and it'll go away now we're at the top of page 3-5 we want to insert a chart so we've got eight icons down here for inserting different types of things the one we want to insert is a chart so it's this little icon that looks like a chart and go ahead and click on that. It'll bring up the insert chart dialog box. And the one we want to select is Pi. It should be the fifth one on the left side over here. And he wants us to do a 3D Pi. So we'll go ahead and select 3D Pi. 3D Pi charts are not very good ways to represent data. And the reason for that is because when you tip the pie chart on its side like this, what it does is it distorts the relative sizes of the pieces of the pie. So if you have something over here at 3 o'clock or 9 o'clock, uh, it's going to be minimized. And anything that's up here at 12 o'clock or, or 6 o'clock, it's going to look bigger than it really is. So if you're doing a pie chart, you should really not do a 3D one. You should do a two-dimensional one. But that's what he wants us to do. So let's do it. Go ahead and with it selected, go ahead and click on OK down here in the lower right-hand corner. And we'll get a default pie chart. And a pie chart has to have some data that it's based on. We get this default pie chart here that uh, this is always what you get for default. You have to provide your own data. And what we want to do is we want to flip over to page 3-6. At the bottom of page 3-6, we want to click on cell B1. So that's right here. You may recognize this. This is basically an Excel spreadsheet that we're using to input our data. We want to type in uh, B1 here. We want to type in five sleep stages. This will be the title of the chart. Go ahead and hit Enter. Then we're going to go to cell A2, and we're going to type over what is currently here. We're going to type in stage one, stage one, and then REM down in row six. We need to replace the numbers with our data up here, so go to B2. We're going to type in the following numbers, 5, 50, 5, 15, 25. Flip over to page 3-8. We can go ahead and close the spreadsheet by clicking on the X up here in the upper right-hand corner. And you see that our title has been put in from B1, and the labels we put in column A are down here, and the corresponding numbers are represented by the slices of the pie up here. Okay, so now we're at the bottom of page 3-8, and we want to resize the chart. Uh, normally, if you resize it, you're just going to grab the handles here and resize it until it looks good. But he wants us to set it to a specific size. So we're going to go up here. When a chart is selected, you'll get a chart design tab up here and a format tab up here. We want to go to the format tab in this case. Um, most of the time when you're dealing with chart design, I think you're going to be on this tab up here, not on the format tab. But to set the height, uh, we do have to go over here and use the format tab. So we want to set the height equal to 6.5. Go ahead and hit enter. For the width, we want to put 10.5. So just delete what's currently there. Hit enter. And it's not going to be centered. Mine is off center a little bit, um, but we're going to fix that. We're going to go down to the bottom of page 3-9. With the chart selected and the chart tools format tab displaying, click the align button. So here's our align button. 
and we want to align it to the slide that should be turned on already and we want to align this in the center left to right that's what this one will do so there should be equal amounts on the right margin and the left margin we also want it aligned top to bottom in the middle so go back to align and that one is called middle so center is left to right middle will align it in the middle between the top and the bottom of the slide now we're going to go over to the top of page 3-11 with the chart still selected click the chart styles button which is the paintbrush icon right here we want style number five so let's scroll down here one two three four five that's six style number five right there click off of this box someplace and it should disappear now we're at the bottom of page 3-11 we're going to change the shape outline color so we want to click the pie go to shape outline up here on we're still on the format tab go to shape outline click on the down arrow we want dark red which is the first one in the standard colors down here so go ahead and click on that and you can see little thin red lines appear around every piece of the pie go ahead and click on that now we're at the bottom of page 3-12 we're going to change the weight of that outline let's go back to shape outline up here one of our options is weight go down here and select weight from the sub menu pick two and one fourth points click on that we should get a fatter red line there separating the pieces of the pie click on the chart title we're going to change the format of the chart title let's go to our home tab we want to change the font size to 32. that is one of our presets if it wasn't you could just go up here and type in 32. we want the font name to be rockwell let's go to our font names here these are alphabetical and there's a pretty long list of fonts on my computer so we're going to go down here to the r's and there is rockwell we want to click on the legend we want to increase the font size of the legend to 18. so go up here and choose 18. we want that font to be rockwell as well let's go up here click on the down arrow and we don't have to scroll this time rockwell is in our list of recently used fonts go ahead and click on rockwell and the last thing we want to do is you want to make those bold so go up here and click on the b or you can do a control b from the keyboard and now flip over to page 3-14 so this is probably a good place to stop the next video will be over tables and we'll pick up on page 3-14